निर्णय कर लिया है राहुल राहुल के बारे में निर्णय कल सी डब्ल्यू सी मीटिंग में लिया है और वो फाइनल है प्राइम मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर मनमोहन सिंह जी वाइस प्रेसिडेंट राहुल जी मेंबर मेंबर्स ऑफ द सी डब्ल्यू सी मेंबर्स ऑफ द ए आई सी सी डी सी सी प्रेसिडेंट कोलीग ऑन द दास फ्रेंड्स वी असेंबल हियर एज द ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन लोकसभा इलेक्शन अप्रोच वी मीट वी मीट टूडे to send a clear signal that the congress is ready and prepared for the battle ahead <coughs> these elections will see a sharpening context between conflicting ideologies between competing interpretation of the past and between clashing visions of the future it will be a battle for india as it was conceived by our founding fathers and as we cherish it it will be a battle for the preservation of our age old secular traditions traditions of diverse communities living harmoniously in one composite national identity <coughs> whenever we gather at meetings such as this we pause and reflect and recall with pride what we stand for and what our legacy is and what more appropriate moment for this than the 125th birth anniversary year of Jawaharlal Nehru it was he who had said soon after independence that confronting danger and facing up to adversity is the congress way that message should resonate more loudly now than ever before The Congress has faced many difficult times in the past much tougher than today but we have never lost heart we have repeatedly demonstrated our resilience by remaining committed to our vision to our values and the beliefs that have always sustained us our party is woven into the fabric of this nation from its very conception as a modern nation state this great country this india is woven of the rich individual strands of our regions languages religions traditions and communities through the ages yet its vibrant beauty can be seen only as a whole a single seamless fabric much greater than the sum of all the strands today i want to address some key threats to these to the fabric and the tensions and forces that are stretching it to breaking point i also want to highlight how our party and our government have over the last decade responded to these threats through some key policies and programs let me start with the first disparities in spite of impressive economic growth for which we can justifiably take credit the fact is that disparities are still painfully widespread growth is essential and must be sustained but rapid growth alone cannot address the problems arising out of continuing disparities 
tackling these is not just a matter of social justice, but more importantly, an existential necessity and a moral imperative. If the basic needs of large sections of our society are not met in tangible measure, if the growing aspiration of our people <clears throat> are not met in substantial measure, the fabric of our society will be stretched and torn. That is the ground where despair leads to unrest and breeds extremism as the only hope for change. This unrest also gives various vested interests the opportunity to pursue their selfish purposes. So it was that we decided on Mahatma Gandhi Nariga, which has provided livelihood security to one in four rural households in the country and has ensured that rural wages have increased many fold. <coughs> so it was that we introduced the Forest Rights Act in 2006, which has provided a new future for lacks of tribal families. And so it was that we financed the building of over four lakh kilometers of all-weather rural road in different states. So it was that we ensured that procurement prices for rice and wheat more than doubled over the last 10 years, triggering new prosperity for our Kisan. And so it was that very recently we got the historic Food Security Act passed that will provide highly subsidized food grains to two-thirds of our population. <laughs> and the new Land Acquisition Act that will ensure far higher compens compensation to our farmers. Now let me turn to corruption. At Burari, two years ago, you may recall, I had presented a five-point action plan to combat the widespread menace of corruption at all levels. Since then, the Lokpal and Lokayukta Act have been passed in Parliament. All Congress ruled states are committed to a new, more powerful and independent Lokayukta by the end of February 2014. <clears throat> Crucial bills which are powerful instruments in our fight against corruption, are pending in Parliament. We will do our utmost to get them through when Parliament reconvenes next month. And I appeal to all parties to rise above political consideration and pass these bills. The Adar Initiative, Aapka Haat, Aapka Pesa, Aapke Haat, has been launched in many districts, and when fully operational, it will ensure the elimination of the corruption that people experience in their daily lives, especially in the delivery of subsidies, pensions, wages, and other government benefits. We are the party that is responsible for the historic RTI Act. We pursue this because we believe that ultimately in transparency lies the solution to the problem of corruption. The RTI Act is the single most important reason why citizens of our country feel empowered to fight corruption. अब मैं कुछ बातें हिंदी में कहना चाहती हूँ। एक और एक और खतरा जो जो हम अपने आसपास देखते हैं, वह है अफसरों की गैर बराबरी। यह समाज के उस रवैये से पैदा हुआ है, जिसकी निगाह में यह ज्यादा महत्वपूर्ण है कि आप कौन हैं? और आप किसको जानते हैं बजाय इसके कि आप क्या जानते हैं और आप क्या कर सकते हैं 
इस गैर बराबरी को मिटाने का एक सबसे प्रभावी तरीका शिक्षा है इसलिए हमने शिक्षा के अधिकार का कानून बनाया है इसीलिए हमने कमजोर वर्गों की लड़कियों और लड़कों के लिए खास तौर से दलित आदिवासी और अकलीत के बच्चों के लिए वजीफे की व्यापक योजनाएं शुरू की है इसीलिए हमने सर्व शिक्षा अभियान और बच्चों के दोपहर के भोजन को की योजनाएं शुरू की है जिससे स्कूलों में लड़के लड़कियों की तादाद में बेमिसाल बढ़ोतरी हुई है बच्चों की जगह स्कूल ही है और उन्हें वहां होना ही चाहिए इसीलिए पिछले पांच वर्षों में हमने काफी तादाद में नए विश्वविद्यालय और अनेक उद्यमों से संबंधित नई संस्थाएं खोली है जैसा कि इतने समय में पहले कभी नहीं हुआ मैं व्यक्तिगत रूप से यह महसूस करती हूं कि अफसरों की यह गैर बराबरी की हमारे समाज में महिलाओं के प्रति भेदभाव का एक सबूत है पिछले कुछ वर्षों में